Unit Marine Conservancy. As I was walking around, I slept there, uh, I think, two, three weeks before the arrival of the king. And as you all know, I walk every morning. And as I walked on that road, I found there was a lot of activity and tarmac was going on. I was very happy and asked what was happening. And I was told that the king himself, the third, will be coming. So, like all other residents of that area, uh, we are very indebted to King Charles III that this was done very speedily. Regarding Kashagua never called anybody <laughs> to do this road. In fact, I'm informed that this road is donor funded, the one to Kilifi. And there is a component of corporate social responsibility. And I have learned after I have inquired that um, these people of um, uh, there is a, there is a that road is called Takawungu Shariani Vipingo. It's off the main road, and uh, I am made to understand that uh, Kuruinu, Kuruitu Marine Conservancy Vipingo Secondary School, Shariani Primary School among other stakeholders, including a, park, a, mark, a public market, applied to Kenha to be considered for corporate social responsibility. And I think the issue of the king hastened that request. And that's why I said we are grateful to the king. Again, I invite evidence to show that I influenced that road. In any case, I would like to know the member of parliament for that area how he will vote in this motion. He should be a very happy man. If Deputy President Ricardo Kashagu occasioned a tarmac route to be done in his constituency, he should vote for me. But I didn't. And when I went there, that Sharian market, people are very happy with that road. Because I walk there in the morning when I sleep there. People are very happy with that road. The secondary school there, the boys and girls are very happy. The primary schools are there. And again, contrary to the assertion by the Honorable Mutuse, it's not a private road, it's a public road. And it is serving many people, a primary school, a secondary school, a market, and a whole community, including the family of the estate of the late governor, the late Ugashawa. We are just beneficiaries of good deeds by our government that were hastened by the arrival of King, of His Majesty the King, the third. Undermining the President and the Cabinet by allegedly making contradictory public statements from the position taken by Cabinet regarding the evacuation of the people residing along Nairobi River. To start with, for the record, President William Ruto has never complained to me that have undermined him. If he has told that to Honorable Mutuse, I would like to know that he has complained to Honorable Mutuse that his deputy has undermined him. Article 147 of the Constitution provides the deputy president shall be the principal assistant to the president and shall deputize for the president in the execution of the president's functions. Article 28, which states that every person has inherent dignity and the right to have that dignity respected and protected. Article 29C, which states that every person has the right to freedom and security of the person, which includes the right not to be subjected to any form of violence from either public or private sources. Section 152G1 of the Land Act, which states that notwithstanding any provisions to the contrary in this Act or in any other written law, all eviction shall be carried out in strict accordance with the following procedures. A. Be preceded by proper identification of those taking part in eviction or demolitions. B. Be preceded 
by the presentation of the formal authorizations for the action. C, where groups of people are involved, government officials or their representatives to be present during an eviction. D, to be carried out in a manner which respects the dignity, right to life and security of those affected. Included special measures to ensure effective protection to groups and people who are vulnerable, such as women, children and elderly and persons with disabilities. F, include special measures to ensure that there is no arbitrary deprivation of property or possessions as a result of the eviction. G, include mechanisms to protect property and possessions left behind involuntarily from destruction. H, respect the principles of necessity and proportionality during the use of force and give the affected person the first priority to demolish and salvage their property. Critically, our constitution provides at section uh, 147.2 that first, the deputy president shall perform the functions conferred by these constitutions and any other functions of the president as the president may assign.